there was a discussion about armed forces special powers act not uh, uh, being palatable to people in north east and it was said that uh, they will try to reduce the area to which this act is applicable yes. i want to know from you that which are the particular provisions of armed forces act which people are not liking the first uh, first provision is uh, latent immunity uh, to search the households without any warrant uh, that the say again what is the absolute provision to search the household of the people without any warrant mm -hmm. uh, this has uh, led to many allegedly human rights violation okay. so people are uh, apprehend people are having apprehensions regarding this provision mm -hmm. As of now, how many states are uh, uh, what you call in? How many states it is being enforced? Sir, it is enforced in Nagaland. It is mm -hmm. enforced in some parts of Arunachal Pradesh. Mm -hmm. It is enforced in. How many? I wanted to know the just number. One, two, three, four. How many states? I am not exactly sure. Ah, sure. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Ashwani, it is so interesting to interact with you. We are now. Undergoing a heat wave, yes. atmospheric temperature is touching almost 50 degrees, and predictions are that it might go up to 53 degrees also in the next few days. So tell me the causes of this sudden increase because this is an all-time high, the like of which has not been seen. The increase in the temperature now. What are the causes and the consequences of this? So first of the foremost cause is climate change. Like recent reports of ICC has also pointed out that uh, the present temperature is now 1.09 degree centigrade higher than the pre-industrial level. So the first and foremost reason is this. Second is uh, urban heat island effect also. In case of urban areas, there is a phenomenon called urban heat island, which uh, raises the temperature of the urban areas from about 4 to 6 degree centigrade from the surrounding areas. This is one of the reasons due to. But has this aspect of urban heating changed in last three years? I think that the urban contribution to global warming continues to be the same or it has changed in the last three years? So it, it is gradually increasing day by day because the area under the concrete is increasing which has indeed led to less albedo, uh, less reflection of heat. This has led to increase in the temperature in the urban areas due to more absorption of heat and such incidences of heat waves especially in the urban areas. So as far as consequences are concerned, first is direct effect to the health not only to the humans but as uh, but also to the animals as well as the biodiversity around us and sir uh, other impact is there is uh, as far as an electrical engineer what I have been witnessing that there is a sudden surge in the demand due to uh, considerable heat especially in the months of March and April for example last Tuesday also the, temp, uh, the peak demand was about 200 gigawatts which is one of the highest recorded in the history this is one of the consequences as well these are very really minor consequences. The major consequences, if you discuss it so lucidly, what about the consequence of glacier melting, yes, sir. sea level, and the consequent impact? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, yes, sir. It uh, is indeed true that the glaciers are melting, and it was also highlighted by Hindu Kush Shrinivasan report that was released last year. And uh, there has also been instances of. You can sit back and relax. You are amongst friends. Don't be tense. Sit yes, back sir. like I am sitting and relax and then talk. Yes, sir. Indeed, there is a sea level rise as well. Mm, uh, uh, and this phenomena is much rapid in the Indian Ocean as well. Mm -hmm. And one more consequence is uh, the increase in the frequency of natural disasters such as uh, cyclones. We, we have been witnessing an increase in the frequency as well as intensity of the tropical cyclones in the Arabian Sea as well, which was earlier not the phenomena. These are some of the... Mr. Ashwari, I would like to understand, does the increase in te temperature also have an impact on the incidence of crime? Any studies on that? Any impact of the heat wave on crime? Sir, I am not aware about any particular studies, but if you allow me, I can make a logical guess here. Go ahead. Uh, sir, many geographers, as I have taken geography, many geographers has pointed out this phenomena that uh, increase in the heat is uh, directly proportional to the criminal instinct of a person. Uh, plus, uh, uh, are you sure of what you are saying? Yes, has to be. Yes, that has to be on the basis of logic and studies. 
not a shot in the dark. If it's in the shot in the dark, we will stop at that. Yes. If it's in the midst of some studies, please go ahead, continue. So it's can I, it is not based on some particular yes. studies. It is based on common sense in there. And the things so never mind. We go to something else uh, very interesting. I think Man would ask you about 5G. Yes. There's the plus sign which you mentioned, and there's a minus sign. Can you shed some light on the minus side of 5G technology? Yes, sir. It will uh, increase the um, expenditure in terms of uh, the new devices that are. Uh, Naturally, any technology comes at a cost. Yes, sir. But you mentioned the word biodiversity. Yes, sir. Are there any studies to show that the 5G technology also impacts the biodiversity in any manner? Human health in any manner? So I am not aware, but I am aware of one instance, if you allow me, mm -hmm. that uh, last year the uh, World Life International has uh, given out a report in which they had mentioned something about this, that uh, introduction of 5G won't affect the biodiversity, uh, biodiversity of world life to a considerable extent. Great but observation. Do you think that every such study that promotes any technology can be trusted without any questions asked? Or do you think there are sponsored studies to promote or to dissect any technology? There is so much of money and finances involved. I would question any study that promotes any technology or question any study. There are sponsored researches and there are sponsored studies. How would you react to this? Yes, sir, indeed it is true that there are some vested interests of corporates and uh, other bodies which has led to so sponsored studies. I think, sir, if uh, such studies are conducted by independent and recognized organizations uh, which have uh, much higher accountability to the public. Can you name two such so called established and reputed institutions or study centers, research institutes? Sir, which would you think are the topmost two in the world who you trust and rely on? Sir, I would say one is IPCC in terms of uh, climate uh, change reports. No, mind. Perfect, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, actually, you mentioned uh, about the IPCC report. Yes, it is that. It also had one uh, recommendation that we should reduce the GHG emission by 40 percent by 2030. Yes. So, do you think that India can <coughs> meet that recommendation? GHG yes, uh, emission has been reduced by about 40% by 2030. Sir, India has made many commitments for achieving the target. For example, in the recent surveys of COP26, India has highlighted many commitments to increase the renewable power energy uh, generation by five, to 500 gigawatt by 2030 and achieve the net carbon neutrality by 2070. In terms of uh, uh, whether it is on the target, I am not aware of any particular data. Uh, which justifies the same. But India is aggressively promoting many initiatives, electric <coughs> vehicles as well, and the uh, National Action Plan for Climate Change, which has eight components, to aggressively pursue this target. So, in Madhya Pradesh, uh, we have the largest number of drivers. Yes, sir. Also, a uh, huge tracks of land are the forest. Yes, sir. So, how do you see this relationship whether drivers are contributing? to uh, the uh, eco-conservation, the project tiger, there are six types of project tiger there, and they are doing very well in that So, how do you see this relation? How ty tiger population is helping? How do you see any conflict? Mm -hmm. So, there has been instances where it has established that tribal people are more close to the forest and uh, not only they utilize the resources but also help in conserving the forest as well because they are not only the source of livelihood but also the part of their culture as well. So yes sir, I think that uh, tribal has a much deeper connection with the forest uh, and you have uh, rightly pointed out that Madhya Pradesh does has the largest number, 21% of the population in Madhya Pradesh is tribal and it has the largest forest cover as well. Uh, this can be one relation. So tell me how I just in the district you would uh, make sure that tribal forest relationship is further improved upon it, it is made further you know, uh, compatible and synergistic protection will be taken with regard to uh, tribals. Yeah, please.
know that any project that is being implemented uh, is in provisions with the law such as uh, there are one that uh, forest right act 2006 and the approval of the grant sabha is being taken while uh, doing any project on the tribal land or related to forest second for promotion i can think that uh, some of the cultural festivals that are related to tribals can be promoted for example now under a Bharat Shresh Bharat program, many uh, states are connecting with each other to exchange their ideas related with, to cultural festivals. Uh, then such tribal festivals which are in link to the forest can be promoted not only through government scheme, uh, channels but also through social media and other platforms as well. Well, the Prime Minister is leaving for uh, three days, uh, three countries trip to Europe. Are you aware of which countries would he be visiting? Yeah, tomorrow we will leave. Now my last question, you have mentioned in your hobbies you play chess. Yes, sir. So do you see any similarity in the strategy of playing chess and running district administration? Yes sir, indeed I see two, two possibilities. Please tell me. First is, uh, uh, your one action can have multiple consequences. Mm -hmm. And it is your duty that you should study the maximum uh, the various number of consequences and be prepared for the same like in game of chess we play one move and anticipate the moves of other and we prepare and prepare ourselves for our next move well in advance. So if such things are applied in the administration then we can have a better foresight in case of further consequences. Second sir, in chess there is a phenomenon called stalemate in the end in which uh, uh, even if a player is winning then he has to make sure that he does not end up in a statement which can end up in a draw. So in case of administration also, until and unless a target is not completely achieved, we should not lower our guard and should execute it properly. Good. Thank you. Yes. So Ashwarya, <coughs> you are from Ujjain. Yes sir. Tell me, religious tourism circuit, if I ask you to prepare a religious tourism circuit uh, between UP where Bareilly you are, you have stayed or somewhere. Sir, I'm pretty sure. You are residing in Bareilly. Uttarakhand where you have studied. Yes, sir. And Bajrakashtra. You have identified certain destinations each in which you can connect them on a religious tourism service. Sir, for Jaipur. Yes, sir. Sir, if I start by the chat, I would first go to Mahakaleshpur and Omkaleshpur which are very close to each other and they are the two Jyotir links. Then I think uh, we can move to Khajuraho where uh, Khajuraho group of temples is also there. From there we can go to Kashi Vishwanath in UP. And uh, uh, thereafter we can move to West and uh, in Uttarakhand we can go to Kedarnath and Madrinath. And in this way a circle can be. Yes, sir. So, Ashwarya, tell me, you are an electrical engineer. Yes, so, I am making a statement. The present power crisis is an act of mismanagement and misadministration at the level of governments and the power companies. Sir, I would say that uh, the statement is partially true. Uh, other being there, are, there has been some unprecedented crisis at international level, like Russia-Ukraine crisis, which has uh, led to increase in the price of the imported coal by 35%, due to which coastal areas has now uh, started to uh, cut the imports, uh, which has increased the demand in the domestic uh, areas, and uh, the transportation cost has also increased to transport it to the coastal areas. So I don't think that complete, it is completely government's fault. But yes sir, uh, there is a demand supply mismanagement uh, to which, to some extent, uh, which could have been managed better. But I think the present power crisis is a mix, mix of both. Now, uh, the Foreign Secretary of India has made a statement that the dynamics of China and Russia are changing vis-a-vis -vis India. Now, we are also having a BRICS summit very soon. Are you aware of it? Yes. Now, with uh, Russia and China getting together on many issues, how much we should India should be reliable on Russia for its defense needs? 
in times to come. So the friendship between India and Russia as far as uh, defense technology and other is concerned has stood the test of time and Russia has been a reliable partner till now and India has also reciprocated the same. In the present dynamics also India has not completely stood against Russia, rather it has condemned the, the war and the violence but uh, it has also uh, protected its national interest. I think India should take decision based on its national interest on a merit basis in a different scenario and should balance its needs and not completely dependent on a particular need, particular country for its need. And the most uh, prominent solution for this is uh, strengthening the indigenous defense sector. Now, uh, the RBI governor has said that India will take many more years to be now, at the same economic level as it was in pre-COVID. Now, what do you think is the current uh, economic scenario so based on macro indicators as of now? Can you just very briefly tell? Sir, after COVID, the growth has been slumped and India has entered into technical recession, but now it has uh, started to recover. Like economic survey also pointed out that the further growth would be around 8 to 9 percent. However, issues are related to fiscal deficit and debt. To Actually, I would like to know when I said as of now, the latest position is not COVID, post COVID. The latest is the war. The Ukraine war has uh, has a uh, put the economy of India on the downside again. So you are going back to the COVID times. I am referring to the Ukraine war when you fall out. Which is more recent. Yes, sir, yes. Has it not upset the, uh, the the entire uh, you know economic situation of the country? Yes sir, it has to that. It has affected. First of all most it is our energy sector. Because we supply the gas from natural gas from Russia and we also have uh, I want to indicate it GDP inflation Sir, I am not exactly aware about uh, You are not aware The numbers data to justify Can me how much comes uh, like improving something is improving also Just in the trend if you are aware yes, sir, sir, the food inflation is increasing which has uh, led we have seen that there has been rise in many vegetables so how do you rate yourself what do you think you did well bad average plus i could have done better and in this i could have framed my statements better and i could have prioritized my statements better and there are some scope scope for improvement in some areas okay. especially so, I think you are a very good candidate. You can express, you know the language, and you can analyze. You can, but I felt perhaps that in general knowledge sphere you were just a kind of mede hai. Mede is ancient, it's not something new. They celebrate mede, you know, they honor the wage and all that, the labor of whoever it be. So you should know because just one, right? So that's just an example. It's sort of like uh, sure, you see, um, occasionally you are too fast, occasionally, all of a sudden you find that you have answer, that time the speed becomes too much. So control yourself for that occasion. And the second is general advice that uh, before you start speaking, configure the entire answer in your mind. That will give you a better way to express yourself. It will be more forceful, more impressive to reply. Same thing, but it will be more impressive if it is configured well in your mind. Okay, this is the thing. Then uh, questions have to be listened very carefully and answered must confine to the questions. No preface is required. There is no time for preface. No lecture is intended. So, confine yourself. For example, we uh, gave the questions to you, two, three questions were there. But I find that what you knew, you wanted to tell. But what question was, that was not exactly. So, do that way. 
For example, look at this first question itself about DC transmission. It doesn't require a very big uh, what you call technical knowledge that if my target is to transfer energy and if I am using very low voltage DC, then the total amount of energy which will be transferred will be very low. Is it? Why we go high voltage DC or the high voltage AC? Because you want to transfer large amount of energy. The moment I reduce it to 400 volts, the total amount of energy will be too less. Common sense. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's why high voltage AC is there and there is a new development about the high voltage DC. Okay. So here the question was just to see whether you are able to apply yourself or not. It is not a question of political engineering. Are you ready to apply yourself? If a decision making situation is given to you, are you able to apply yourself? Or you will run away from applying? Okay. Sir. Thank you. Very good personality, very mature, good answers. But a clean shape is absolutely important. Don't wear this double on the day of the interview. Don't guess too much. Here you have the luxury of guessing or taking chances. There you will not have this luxury. And go into deep pockets where you found that you're faltering once or twice. You are very well informed, very respectful, but you don't have to slump. So it's that you're on stress. Sit back. Another half a millimeter back. Yes. That's a lot better. Thank you. You are very good and I'm sure you'll take it. Well, uh, actually, I agree with what has been said. You are a very good candidate. Delivery was also quite impressive. Just two points. One is that at one time you were a little fast speaker. Yes. So I have paused in the room. And second is that you have to brush up your contact. Yes. So current affairs, you have, you have to develop a habit, a habit of reading newspaper every day. Yes. So that from that day, you, there may be some questions on that. Even, even uh, to the morning in the So, make it a habit. When is your interview? Thursday. On the third day. So, from today, uh, I think you still have almost 28, 22 days. Make it a habit to read new papers, and you want to do the paper. Third All the best. Ashwarya, you have a good personality. You uh, can communicate very well. And uh, you look confident. The only thing is, study more. Current affairs are not very well And uh, along with that, you have to structure your answers as well. Uh, coming to some of the questions that I asked, you answered the religious tourism circuit very well. You just mentioned one, one destination for the future. Yes, yes, so you could uh, include some other destination. Then uh, uh, China and Russia, you see when you put up a point, you just don't take it as a debate, for or against. If I am saying for, then you become against. If I say against, then you become for. So <coughs> be both. Be both as far as possible. Unless the other side, either for or against, it is unlawful. And you can't protect it. For instance, the very fact that the foreign secretary has mentioned that we are watching the dynamics of China. Now, time of aside, what does it mean? What does it mean? We are not certain about the future. Now, you gave a total 100% clean situation. Now, you mentioned our interest, we are watching. It was very general. My answer was very specific. So, you should, by having mentioned that it's a, India has been, you know, Russia has been a trusted long time friend, everything the same, Jumla we have been using for ages. But the way the, you know, the relations are changing, the dynamism in relations, international relations. You can see how Gaga we were with the president of US, the previous regime, right, with Donald Trump. Now what, have, what has happened now? They are making accusations. So you should have also mentioned, sir, yes, the, we have to be very thoughtful about China and Russia's nexus. We 
we have seen it in quad. Right? We have also seen in Ukraine war with China has gone absolutely behind. It is also said that Russia may be China's junior partner in times to come. So if they are going to be the junior partner because China is a bigger superpower power. So that means they will follow what China says. And China will never say in favor of India. May not say. So just show that yes, sir, there is a it's a matter of concern. We may not be able to depend on Russia as much as we did some years ago because of these changing geopolitical situations. However, Russia has been a trusted friend. We may not have enough doubts, but we should be worried. You see the difference between your stand. Similarly, uh, for the uh, power thing also, we didn't mention partially because at the same time, you should mention this uh, partially, yes, but you did not reason, give reason as to why. You mentioned the other side, the other part, which is, you know, import and the dusra part hai, aapne usko bola. Mismanagement wale part ko nahi aapne Am I right? So, the, the railway wagons, passenger train, but it's like a knee jerk reaction. Breakdown maintenance. So you should put your point. Yes, sir, the party mismanagement in the form of not you know furnishing the demand, the railway not acting fast, and something somewhere has gone wrong. That is the reason because even manufacturing may have been lesser. It's not rain also that the production could not happen. That is one part of mismanagement. It has also been intensified because of you know, the import problem and the war and all that. But that is for energy. But these are the thermal plants which have closed. They are not the hydroelectric plants which have closed. You have to focus on the core part. Are you getting the So balance it out. And be more uh, specific giving certain illustrations that why this management you think is part of the Last point, on one question you said, I will take a minute. Don't mention the time. No, minute is huge. No, when the, if the member says, all right, that is also very embarrassing for the panel. Yeah, and we are giving one minute to you just to look at each other. Just say, sir, can I, can I take some time to answer this? Don't mention seconds or 20 seconds or 5 seconds, 7 seconds. Right That's all. Okay, Ashwarya, please sit outside. We'll call you back. No, no. No, no. 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 We're giving the feedback. Oh, oh, percentage. We've given 62%. Anything, Ashwarya, you would like to add to that? Everything is towards whatever I wanted to ask. So, what are you going to do? So, I have been pressure of current affairs. Number one. And I'll try to restructure for frame my answer in head and I'll not frame, prepare the answers. Yes, sir. On that, you must prepare your answers in, in advance. Yes, Whatever is possible. Yes, like, like, you know, possible guest questions. Okay, no? Yes, sir. Oh, BRICS will come, China, Russia may come, Ukraine may, India, Kastan may come, yes, Europe may come, Finland may come. Make hey, your answers. Yes, Keep yes, India on, always in the middle. और जो नए नए क्वेश्चन उसमें मैं उनको अच्छे से प्रिंट करूं तब पांच सेकंड अपने आप ही टूट हो जाओ क्वेश्चन पूछा दें यू स्टार्ट यू फ्रेम इट ऑन और और तो फ्रेंड टाइम तू टेक एन इनफॉर्म फोन इन बाय स्पीड टेक इनफॉर्म स्पीड एंड इनफॉर्म फोन इन बाय जब तो ठीक बोला था अभी आपने शुरू किया अभी तो शुरू कर दिया अभी तक तो अच्छा चल रहा था हाँ अभी तो शुरू किया हाँ आई टाइम हो गया कब नहीं सर एंड चेस व्हाट सच चेस है दे माइट बी एंड दे विल बी क्वेश्चंस ऑफ चेस आई लव यू और और पार्टी ना चेस का आ सकता है चेस इस आज जो वॉर हो रही है और चेस में समान how your chest would help? Oh, Casper Rao ne ya pata nahi kisne comment kiya apne dil ke upar. Sir, he said something. Yes. What does he say? Sir, he has not supported him that the war cannot solve. Percent Russia should stop war. नहीं उसने chest से relate किया उसको पढ़ना तो. Yes. 
a total game of chess, something like that. So you never know what to do. जो शर्ट का शेड है वो थोड़ा सा ही है वो रिश्ता लगता है शर्ट नहीं है ना 